welcome back to another video. I put up a post just saying that we could do like a little bit more of an intimate moment together where you guys asked me some questions and I would answer them. Here are some of the questions that I got from you guys out there. Thank you so much to everyone who asked a question. If anyone has any other questions, ask them down in the comments below and I can do another one of these videos another time. I've never done one before so like bear with me. Let's start your questions. What would be the number one thing that you wish all customers would know before getting a piercing? If you're calm, it's just easier for the whole process to go as fast as possible. If you're being really hesitant and like telling the piercer to stop or like pulling away and doing all that sort of stuff it just prolongs the whole process everyone gets nervous before they get a piercing it's totally normal if that means like being completely silent and just like taking deep breaths or whatever it is you need to do you don't have to act tough or anything like that the main thing is just to keep your composure and stay calm Follow that goddamn aftercare. I'm very squeamish and nervous around needles. Do you have a way to calm the nerves of your clients when they are scared? So the best way to calm nerves, I find, is one, don't ever look at our setup because that really, really freaks people out. So if they see the needle or if they see the tools or anything that we're using, most people will like freak the f out. Like I even find like not even looking at the piercer is completely fine because it's like, that way you're not going to see the stuff. Because I find when people are like looking at me and talking to me, they'll like see it and they'll be like, oh shit. Sitting on your hands is another really good one because you can like grab your legs or you can even grab the bench that you're on as well. And only just have like a general conversation while I'm getting everything set up just so like the person could start telling me about something and get their mind completely off it. I find like that is the best way to calm nerves. Having a chat with the piercer is the best way to like really calm your nerves or like let them know if there's something that they can do to make you feel a little bit more comfortable if you're that scared because um, we can accommodate for that as well. This is one that I got asked quite a lot and this one was how you became a body piercer. I'm so sorry, I really need to make an entire video on this. Actually, that's something that I could do like immediately after this and make that video. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. How do you place a mark on the ear if you cannot directly use a dot marker from person to person? I brought you in just a little bit closer just to feel a bit more intimacy. We use toothpicks that are in like a little plastic packet. So like they're single use, one in a packet and you open it. Then you use the skin marking pen to mark the toothpick and then you mark the person with that and then it's thrown away. Is it legal to just stop piercing someone and kick them out? Yes, it's definitely legal. It always depends though, like in what capacity you're working as a piercer. You can either be working as a piercer, like as a sole trader. In that case, if you're a sole trader or you own the studio, then like really it's up to you to choose what you want to do. You can tell people to leave all you want. It basically just means like you're losing the money. If you're working like under a company's name, that can be like a whole nother, whole nother ball game just because like the company itself might not allow you to just tell people to leave. Like they might be like, keep customers at all costs because it's the company's reputation at stake and not your own as a piercer if that makes sense but like even in that case like you definitely still can tell people to leave it really just depends on circumstance have you ever met a piercer who has a needle phobia like in terms of like they're scared of getting piercings because yeah definitely i know so many piercers that are like big wusses when it comes to getting piercings and I'm not saying I'm exempt from that. Some piercers can't even take it. If you're talking like in terms of piercers who are scared of like the needle itself not like them getting pierced, I have definitely met some people who've attempted to be piercers like who have tried to train to be piercers and like just freaked out because they like they can't do it and it's mostly because like they can't physically force a needle through someone's body so yeah that's definitely a thing like I've seen that happen a few times really really upsetting for some people because they've seen it as like their dream job for so long and then they get into it and they're like whoa this is very different than what I thought like they love piercing so much but liking them and actually piercing is a whole nother thing it's a really sad day when someone comes to the realization that they like can't actually do it how long does it take for a belly button to heal so a navel piercing I'm pregnant and I've had to take mine out because after 10 years the bump has started to make it grow out. I would love to get it redone eventually. To heal up after having it for 10 years, 
they will never close. It's like some crazy miraculous thing where like navel piercings will just, they just stay open. Especially if your body like kept it for that long because a lot of people's bodies like will reject them and like the piercing will migrate out basically. But if you had it for 10 years, I'd say it'll still be there after the pregnancy. Whether it's like migrated though, you can get it pierced like deeper so it's like in the proper position. But whether you like the look of that like with the other piercing sort of on top of it, it's a it's a hard thing to describe. If it still has quite a bit of depth, there's nothing saying you can't just put it back in after the pregnancy. Who do you plan on collaborating with? Is there anyone you really want to collaborate with? I guess because I'm from Australia, it would have to be an Australian YouTuber. I don't really watch that many Australian YouTubers. So many people always say do a collab with like Rolly, and I think that would be a fantastic moment. I think we would have so many hilarious things to say <laughs> about all of the videos that we could react to. Rolly would definitely be up there. In terms of like the possibility of doing that though, like in a different country, probably not likely. Yeah, Australian YouTubers, I'll have to have a think about it because like Australian YouTubers are the ones that I could potentially collaborate with. So if you have any ideas, please let me know because like I would definitely be keen to collab with people. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions that you would like me to answer, just write them in the comments down below or you can DM me on Instagram. It's the same. It's the legit creep. Also hit me with a follow on there as well. I will see you very soon.